good morning, or whatever time it is today when you're watching this video. Today we're going to continue these discussions about vector operations and talk a little bit about the word span. Now, span does not come in a can and is made by Hormel. This is something completely different than that. But uh, the word span, I want you to think about as the ultimate reach of something. We're going to be talking about the span of vectors, and we, we're going to be talking about the ultimate reach of a certain collection of vectors. So this is something like, there was a quote about uh, the uh, Constitution of the United States when uh, we begin with, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all people are created equal. And the quote is that this is an example of an idea that spans the length and breadth of human history. And that is the sense of span that's used in mathematics here. Spans the length and breadth of something. So that's the way I want you to think about it. So let's just start with an example. Let's start with the span of just two vectors. So I'm going to give you two vectors, one, one, zero. Each one is in three-dimensional space, and we want to see what is the length and breadth of the ultimate reach of these. And by this, um, by this we're going to mean that if you travel in this direction by any amount, and you travel in this direction by any amount, what locations in three-dimensional space can you get to? So, So what locations can you visit in three-dimensional space? And we're in three-dimensional space here. That's what we're talking about. By traveling in these two vector directions. So well, let's sort of sneak, sneak up on the answer. We'll just investigate. And uh, the first thing that you can see is you can get to any point that's of the form AA0. Any point that's of the form AA0, where A can be any number whatsoever. Maybe I'll use T, since we've been using this as a variable, TT0. So any point that's in the direction TT0, you can visit. If you want to go to 220, you just go to double this vector. So you go this direction, exactly this direction, none of this, but you go uh, twice this. Or you could get one half, one half zero by just going half this. So we'll be able to just travel in the directions, but any length is possible. So we could go three times this, three, three, zero. And similarly, you can get to any point like this. And you can also get to any point of the form uh, 2s, 0s. And I used a different variable because the, we're talking about different things here. So, But this just represents any uh, going in this second direction alone by some amount. If s is 2, then you're going double it. If s is a half, you're going a half at a third, and so on and so on. Now, geometrically, what we have so far is that the locations you can visit include everybody of this form. Well, this is just, if we look at 1, 1, 0, so 1 in the x, 1, 1 in the x, 2, and 0 in the y, and beginning at 0. And if we stretch that any amount possible, then we get a line going back and forth. 
So this is a line in the plane. It's one parametric variable in three dimensional space. So it's a line in a plane. And in fact, it's this line. And then we can also go, I need these new luminous chalks, cost me a bundle. So we can go in the direction 2, 0, 1. So that would be 2, 0 in the x2, and 1 unit up. So that's this direction, luminous lime. And then uh, we can go any amount in that direction. So we have a second line. Now this is not the x2 axis. This is going up. So we have these two directions. So this is sort of the first way to look at it. But notice that if you wanted any point, any point whatsoever that uses 110 and then goes a certain amount in that direction, and then after that, you use the direction 201 and go any amount in that direction, it is exactly the points that are of this form that have that property. This is a location that means you've gone so much in this direction and so much in this direction, and the and is the plus. So much in this direction, followed by so much in this direction. All right. So we can just write this down. This is t, t0, plus 2s, 0s, and combining t plus 2s, and then T, and then S. So these are the points that form the span of these two. So this represents, I'll put these together in a bag. That's what this curly brace does. This is all of the points of the form T plus 2S, T, S, and then, uh, S and T are free variables. They can be whatever they want. They just represent the distances, the amount of those that you use. And even if they're both zero, it's okay. It means you just don't go anywhere. So the origin is on them. And we already know what this is. This is a plane in three-dimensional space, two free variables, plane in, in three-dimensional space. So this span is given by this formula and is a plane in three-dimensional space. And it is the plane that contains exactly luminous lime and, uh, and uh, original orange, I don't know, luminous orange. So here we go. This is in general how span works. Like with anything, there are some issues involved. And we want to talk about those issues a little bit. So I'm going to erase this, and we'll, we'll look at the same question a little differently. Exact same question. So I'm going to write these as column vectors for this purpose. So we will not change the question, just change the notation, 1, 1, 0. 2, 0, 1. And now here is the answer that we had before. I'm going to leave it up here, but I'm going to look at this a different way. Uh, two, uh, T plus 2S and then TS. So this is the same answer just with a different notation. And I want to look at this a different way. Find the vectors, and I'll call them um, ABC, so that 
the equate the vector equation and it's going to be the same equation i'm going to take an x1 times this first vector 1 1 0 plus x2 times the second vector 2 0 1 equals a b c we want to see, can we solve this equation? Can we solve this equation? So I'm going to need a little more board. So now I'm going to erase the writing and continue up above. But we're going to try to solve this equation. I'm going to write the system of equations here. This notation is going to be important for us. So that's why I'm talking about it. So if we write, if we multiply through and then add up. On the left hand side, I get x1, x1, 0, plus 2x2, 0x2, equals ABC. And we're looking for the ABCs that have a solution. And then on the left over here, I can add these two up and I get x1 plus 2x2 x1, x2. So why, we want to see, can you find x1 and x2 so that this equals abc? This is a system of equations. I'll write out the system here, but we won't always do it. But the system of equations is x1 plus 2x2 equals a, x1 equals b, and x2 equals c. Here is the sim simple system of equations. Its matrix form, augmented coefficient matrix, becomes 1, 2a and uh, 1, 0, b and 0, 1, c. And now I want to row reduce this. I could do it by hand. I could do it by Mathematica. And I can almost see what it will be. 1, 0, B, 0, 1, um, C. And uh, the, uh, I'm going to have to do it by hand again. No, no, no. I have it here. Down here, 0, 0, and then A minus B minus 2C. A minus B minus 2C. So if we row reduce this matrix and you have a little more blackboard, this is what you would get. So I'm going to erase this vector equation. And so the last line is what's important for us here. Loom yellow. The last line is 0x1 plus 0x2 equals a minus b minus 2c. And this tells you something because the left hand side is dead on zero. So no solution unless. A minus B minus 2C equals zero. So this is the condition that gives you the solutions. This is the condition that gives you the solutions. A minus 2B, uh, A minus B minus 2C equals zero. So if you have a solution, it must satisfy that. Our, our original system was that uh, find the ABCs so that um, X1 times 110 plus X2 
times 201 equals ABC as a solution. And if it does, then this is the vector that solves it. That is, that is the solution. So that is the point that is on the span. And now we know what has to happen. A must be equal to B minus 2C, or the solution ABC is B minus 2C, BC. Any vector of this form, any vector of this form um, has a solution. And uh, this should be a plus when I move this to the other side. So any vector of the form b plus 2c, b, and c, that such a vector would be a solution. And notice that this, although we have different variables, this is exactly the same as what we have here. So two ways to look at it in terms of systems of equations we did lastly. In terms of a vector equation, which I got this early, they both have exactly the same solution. These are the points at which you have a solution, and this is the solution, a plane in three-dimensional space. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at a little, at some notation that was involved here. And the notation is involved with the vector solution part, the last part that I did. So this is actually not part of the solution. This is part of the way to think about this. And um, we're going to look at these two vectors, 1, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1. And I'm going to put these in an individual matrix. So I'm looking at these columns here. And now I'm going to put the variables here, x1, x2, equals this constant, a, b, c, over here. This is called a matrix equation. And to see how this works, there's sort of a multiplication involved. And this is called matrix multiplication. And the multiplication is unusual. You take 1, 2. And you take the dot product of 1, 2 with x1, x2. So you take 1, 2 and take the dot product with x1, x2. Why don't you write this as a row so that it's just straight dot product? There's a reason for that, but don't do that. So when you do that, 1, 2 times x1, x2, 1 times x1 plus 2 times x2. This dot product with this. And then the second one in loom orange is this times this, which is x1 plus 0x2. And the third one will be 0, 1. So it will be 0x1 plus 1x2. Matrix multiplication, this times this. And then this equation will be ABC equals this matrix times this variable matrix, X1, X2. So you can write this vector equation in matrix form, and that's the notation that I wanted to show you. OK. So let, let's do uh, an example or two here. I'm going to need some help. 
normally I would ask class for help with this, but you're not here. I'm here. I'm here, Dad. I'm not here. Yeah, I see you, Snow. I, I'm going to ask you. Yep. What? So, uh, Snow, uh, give me a vector in three-dimensional space. Uh, one, one, zero. Well, let's take something different than I just used. Uh, one, one, two. All right, all right. We'll take one, one, two. I'm going to write it as uh, a column here. And now I would like a second vector so that the span of these two is not a plane. Now, in the last one, the span of the two was a plane, but now I want a vector so that the span of those two is not a plane. I can't do it. Uh, well, think about it. I am thinking, but I'm just a snow goose. Well, I know, but you're doing fine. Uh, but let's see if we can find one, a vector that you can put there so that the span of those two is geometrically not a plane. So the span will mean all multiples of the first, any multiple of the first, so you got a free variable there, plus a free variable times the second one. And the thing that I want is that this is not a plane. So in a way, even though it looks like you have two free variables when we're setting it up, you don't get a plane. How can you do that? Oh, welcome. Thanks. Zero. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? Zero. Well, I know zero, but zero, zero, zero. I mean zero. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, I see what you mean. If you put the zero vector here, that's it. Yeah, if you put the zero vector here, you do not get a plane because it zeroed out the S. So even though S looks like a free variable when you work this out, you only get T times 1, 1, 2. So the span of these two together is a line because although it looks like you get a free variable to multiply by this, the nature of this vector screwed up the fact that this variable itself was free, and so it made that variable disappear. Um, for a snapping turtle, that is just unbelievable. There's another way you can do that, though, that ends up to be not so obvious. So we can put another one up there so that when you use these two, it still is not a plane. It's going to contain a line because of this. It always has to be at least a line. Span uses these linear combinations. So it's either going to be a point, a line, a plane, or whatever. So if it's not a plane and it's not a point, and it won't be because 112 is there, then the span is going to be a line. How can you make it? How can you make it a line by putting another vector here? I know. I'm sure I know, Dad. Dad, I know. I know. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, snow. I'm snow. Yeah, I, I know. I just get excited. Um, what do you think? Uh, I'm not sure. Well, uh, try something. Oh, two, two, four. Ah, interesting. Snow, that is really good. I'm proud of you, Snow. Thanks. Thanks. Does it work? You bet it works. And the reason is this vector is exactly twice this. So we can write that as t times 1, 1, 2 plus 2 times s times 2, 2, 4. Uh, uh, this will be 1, 1, 2 because I factor out the 2. And now I can factor out that vector 1, 1, 2. So I get t plus 2s 
times 1, 1, 2. So on the face of it, it looks like s is a free variable completely independent of t, but the effect of multiplying t and s by these two vectors destroys the fact that these are um, giving you any additional information. The net answer is some multiple of 1, 1, 2. So the fact that s and t are free variables is ameliorated by the fact that what they multiply are connected with each other, are just multiples of each other. And so you don't get any additional geometric information. This is just a multiple of 1, 1, 2, still a line. So this is something that uh, we're going to pay attention to in the next section or two. But when you take a span of two vectors, you do not necessarily get a plane. You only get a plane if they're not multiples of each other. And Ohm's example, 0, 0, 0, is a multiple of this. So that is the nutshell. Two vectors in any space will give you a plane in that space, but only when those vectors are not multiples of each other. So thanks a lot. I'll put out some homework on section, uh, this is uh, the next section, 2.2, span. And uh, see you tomorrow in class. Looking forward.